Yo ho ho everybody, this is Hunter. Hope you're having an awesome day. It is hotter than Hades out today, but I am doing an RV video for you. It is the 2021 Elkridge 33 BHS coming in with a dry weight of just over 10,000 pounds, 10,200 pounds. It has a GVWR of uh, somewhere around like 15.3, 15.4, something like that. But this thing is awesome. And as I said, the 2021 33 BHS, it is a smaller, more compact bunkhouse. It's not some of your monstrosity of a, of a bunkhouse fifth wheel. It's a little bit more manageable, a little bit lighter, but it's definitely not lacking on features, that's for sure. Um, but first, I'm going to go on to the inside, then walk around a little bit on the outside, show you a couple things. Nothing too special today, just opening a couple cabinets, pointing out a couple of the obvious. Uh, but if you guys like RV videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. I just did, I'm back to back videoing on this one. So, feeling a little weird. My first video back from a uh, couple weeks hiatus, just had to clear the old noggin, get back on track. But I just did a one on a 22 travel trailer, my first 22. And I'll tell you what, I'm about to have a kid here in a couple weeks, and I've just got that on the mind. I bombed it. It's weird. But I'm putting it on anyway. Um, missing a cushion right there. I'm going to have to get that fixed. But yeah, here's a little quick Torski. Then I'm going to break down, you know, kind of room by room. But this way allows you to see if this is something that you want to see. I do love the bedroom in this one. The Elk Ridge has got it going on in the bedroom. I just think that is nice. But let's do this. Let's start in the kitchen, go into the bunk room, head into the, you know, the actual bedroom, and then around the outside. I think that's the flow of things for today. I think that is the flow for sure. Yeah, let's get right into it. So right here, you got yourself a nice little dinette. You kick those legs out, toss them off to the side. It makes a bed flip the cushions on over on either side and you can sleep an extra little rug rat there nice little residential feel in this light i just think it's kind of fancy looking metal not too overly sturdy so don't hang on it but you know it is nice and it's well put on in there you got these nice windows here blackout shades so if you want to get your dracula on uh you can so that's always nice i like getting as dark as possible at night that's kind of my thing. That's my go-to. If you need even more additional sleeping space, other than this dinette right here, you got this couch. This will pull out and make a bed as well. So that's one of the many reasons why this Elk Ridge 33 BHS is one of my favorite floor plans. Because it is light, it's compact, but it's chock full of just a ton of storage, a ton of sleeping. I mean, you can fit a whole army in here. This thing's probably sleeping at least... I'd guess probably 10 safely. Um, but you got some good storage right over here. As you can see, you can put anything you want in there. Maybe some blankets, maybe some food. Who knows? I don't know you. But you know yourself. You know what you'll put in there. Really big size TV, as it says right there. 50 inch. I don't know about you, but a 50 inch TV is prime money for camping movies at night. Got an electric uh, fireplace right there. That thing gets hot as possible. Setting goes all the way up to 100 degrees. It's excessive if you ask me, but I'd rather have too much than too little. And that right there will heat this entire room and probably the bunkhouse if you leave that door open, kick some ventilation that way. So it definitely will save kind of extend the seasons out a little bit you won't be burning propane so that's nice above that fireplace as you can see you got four storage containers that one's harder to open i'm going to open up this one but you can see you can put some storage in there really nice countertops in this bad boy you can lower that uh, glass right there to make this one big you know l but has a ton of storage a ton of counter space, I'm sorry. Solid surface countertops, if you hear that. Right here, place where you can charge your phone. Uh, it's one of those magic little places. I can't remember what they call it, but it's just a... Uh, heck, I don't know. Wireless charging for your phone. 
three stovetop burner suburban so you know it's nice this is a trusted rv brand pretty awesome size oven for a camper for sure fit a couple chickens in there maybe even a turkey maybe even a turkey got the high point microwave it's a big boy Some good storage here, some good storage there, and check that out. Easily get a week's worth of food, you know, stuff packed up into here, no problem. Especially when you pair it with this awesome residential refrigerator, which I will open up here in just a moment. But first, we'll wrap up the kitchen here with you. Check that out. Tons of storage there underneath, so that's always nice. Your single bowl with a residential faucet. A little one of those little snakes so you can, you know, hit the dishes from all angles. And if you guys think I'm doing an all right job, even a terrible job, if you have some suggestions for me, make sure to drop a comment, hit like, you know, do your thing. Do whatever you can to make me better. I'm here for it. Like I said, I'm a little rusty. Got a little bit of baby brain. Got a kid on the way. So I'm trying to bust out as many videos as I can before life gets crazy awesome for me. But big boy refrigerator, plenty of space right here. This is how it comes straight from the manufacturer. We'll get these, you know, pulled out for uh, the demo. Person's coming here to pick this up tomorrow. But yeah, really nice size refrigerator. Two freezer compartments. Give you one more little peek up through here and let's head into the bunk room. And I really like the look of these doors too. I know that's kind of a dorky thing to say, but I do think they look nice. They got a nice little touch to them. All right, so this bunk bed palace back here, a little bit cramped up. So some adults might have some problems, but kids will be climbing around, monkeying around, you know, with no problem. You got this nice little dresser here with four of these drawers. And they're a really good size, so you can fit in, you know, whatever you need, no problem. These little cubbies as well. You got one, two, three, four of those. And then you also have some storage right here. Now, on the back end of this storage, I believe, is that exterior kitchen. I wish I'll show you here when we get outside. But the double wide bunk right here, this thing is awesome. You got an outlet right there, so that way they can charge whatever they need. 200 load capacity on these top guys so make sure you uh you know put some under 200 pounds that shouldn't be much of a problem and right here if you want to put a tv you got all your hookups so let's go to the bathroom bedroom and then dip around outside a little bit before i head off to a hot date we're making we're grilling out some steaks and some asparagus treat ourselves a little bit Good size shower in there. Kind of that corner, that radius shower, I think is what they call it. <sighs> Drop my towel. Got an outlet right there. Get your sink. Wash your hands and brush your teeth. Place to put the toothbrush. That's nice. It's actually pretty big. All right, and then this bedroom. This is the shining star of this camper. This thing is freaking awesome. The parents have the good life on this. That raises up for some storage up underneath. You got two little cubbies over here. By the way, this is uh, dual entry, so you're good. Hookups, or I mean your, um, what do they call that, temperature thing? I am blanking right now. This day is not mine satellite hookups you got your outlets you got a sliding door this is all one big slide so the slide goes into the bathroom itself so when it closes up all this will come in but i love it because it allows you to have 
all this extra storage in here. So you got your nice little closet area for your hanging clothes. Get your more traditional, you know, what I would turn into probably a set, a three series piece of junk drawers. But that's just me. You know, you might be a little bit more organized. Little countertop there. You got three more drawers over here. One, two, and three. Outlets underneath. Back over here, though. Two of those bad boys. That's the one benefit of having this, this slide off to the side with your north to south bed. You know, on those east to west, you do lose out on the, the ability to have a slide... Or to have this, you know, the extra kind of closet space. Storage up above the bed and over here. A couple little cubbies. And you got your, whoa. You got your outlet over there. And again, with the windows, you do have blackout shades here in the bedroom as well. But that about wraps it up for the inside of the 2021 Elkridge 33 BHS. Again, guys, if you guys like the videos, hit that like or subscribe button. Or if you've watched this long, at least drop a comment. Let me know how I did. Let me know what I can do for you better next time. But now I'm going to spend about three minutes here on the outside. And then get things going. All right. So you have a nice big awning. Big old LED lights. You get your marine grade speakers right here. So you can bump inside or outside music. Um, from the... There's a little... I forgot to show it to you, but... It's over around right up here. There's a control for it. You got your exterior camp kitchen. Two burner flame king right there. Nice little re mini refrigerator. And some additional storage. This does have auto level up. It's six point auto level, which is nice for a camper this size. They don't always come with that. You have a receiver hitch down here, so that way you can, uh, you know, put a rack on or, you know, maybe some bicycles, whatever you want to do. You have a ladder going up to the top for your maintenance. You know, I recommend getting up there twice a year, checking your seals, make sure everything is looking nice and tight. No seals are cracking. And right here, as you'll see, it is prepped for an observation camera, a backup camera. I recommend the Furion observation camera. It's $550 does a great job that 550 is installed by the way got a nice little cubby here for just they just slipped in some additional storage so that's always nice to have here's the outside of these uh, slides you can put slide toppers on either one of these it'd run you 700 bucks a piece, $1,400 in total. But they are really nice to have if you're parked under a tree. You know, you have tree limbs, acorns, walnuts, heck, I don't know, squirrels. Um, you know, whatever can get up there, you know, well. And it's nice not to have to brush that off every time you close it. Typically, when people have leaks from the slides, it's because they don't pay attention what's on top of those. Because, I mean, you know, I'm six feet tall, reaching my hand up all the way. And I can't get up there. So, you know, you could imagine that could be a problem. Those slide toppers alleviate, you know, that stress. Right here, you got, you know, one convenient place, kind of all your hookups. You got all your satellite stuff to the to the right, along with an outlet, all your tanks, a little spray port right there. Uh, so that way, you know, you can, uh, you know, do a little outside showering. I'll show you the front of this, and let's go into this storage. And then I want to show you this pass-through storage, which I think is awesome in this camper. All right, so there's the front end of that. You can turn these LED lights on or off with a switch. It's right next to that door. You got your Rotoflex. So a little bit upgraded pin box here for you, a little bit more of a comfortable towing experience. You got your storage right in here. Three different access points. Bada bing, bada boom, bingo. But I just love how they do this. And that allows you, if you want to, you can put a generator here underneath. This customer did not have to do it, so it's just going to be extra storage. But there is a place to do it if you would like. Your batteries, your hydraulics, all that good stuff. 
And right here is that switch for um, the, uh, the LED lights I was just telling you about. It's also solar ready. So that's what that would be right there. Propane, obviously, it's a no-brainer why you need that. But look at the size of this, you know, this uh, storage here from this side. You can fit a ton of your stuff in this thing, which is nice. And everybody likes to cram, you know, as much as possible when they're camping. Little pack rats, usually. A little bit heavier, heavier door there. Slam latch. So that's nice. Nice sturdy construction on this. Right down here, you got your... Your little uh, rack for your spare tire, you yank that thing out and you're good to go. But all right, guys, the 2021 Elkridge 33 BHS. Hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure to subscribe. See ya.